when you enter the camera view from the main screen, the pre-flight checklist will appear. It is important to complete the pre-flight check before each flight for safe operations. On the top, the flight mode can be changed from the controller. N stands for normal mode. It works best when the GNSS signal is strong and the obstacle avoidance function is enabled. N mode on M30 series is the same as P mode on M300. S stands for sport mode. The flight speed is much faster and the aircraft is more responsive to stick movements. Be careful as the horizontal obstacle sensing will be turned off in S mode. F stands for function mode, which you can customize in advanced settings for either T mode or A mode. T stands for tripod mode, which is recommended for beginners or while in tight spaces. It's based on N mode and limits the flight speed. The aircraft is more stable while shooting. A stands for attitude mode. When in attitude mode, the aircraft will drift in the sky and can be extremely difficult to control. Once you are in attitude mode passively, you need to land the aircraft as soon as possible. For the return to home altitude, you should set it above all the buildings and obstacles for flight safety. The out of control action is returned to home by default. Depending on different missions or purposes, you can change to hover or land. During the out of control action, the obstacle avoidance function is still enabled. You can adjust the max altitude and the max flight distance higher or lower when needed. The home point of aircraft will be set when you take off. It can be adjusted to a different location based on the remote or aircraft location while they have strong GNSS signal. For control stick mode, DJI products are set to mode 2 by default. If you use another mode, make sure to change it before the flight. Low battery warning is recommended to be set at 25%. The controller will beep and you should change the batteries as soon as possible. Critical low battery warning is recommended to be set at 15%. A warning window will pop up and the aircraft will return home automatically if you don't intervene. Based on horizontal, upward and downward settings, the controller will alert you when the obstacle is within the distance. The aircraft will brake and stop automatically when the obstacle is within the brake distance. The brake distance may be longer when the aircraft is at high speed, the same as cars at least 3 meters for brake distance is recommended. After finishing the pre-flight check, you can tap the cross button to enter the camera view.